Taurus, hi, welcome to your read. Um, we will be doing a simple Celtic cross for you today. Uh, no clarifiers. And I have the Spirit Animal Oracle as well. And we'll pull you an Animal Oracle at the end of your read. These are general readings, so take what resonates, leave the rest. And you all know that. By the way, Taurus, I do do personal readings, so if you're interested in a personal read, reach out to me over Instagram. The link is in my description. Don't try to email me. I will respond to the email, but it'll take a while. Just understand that. I'd rather you reach out to me on Instagram because I can book your appointment, and it's as simple as calling you on Instagram, and that's a lot easier for everybody, isn't it? Uh, Email to me seems ancient. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's that Uranus and Taurus, right? It's moving forward with the uh, the electronic stuff there. Um, another thing is uh, I do birth charts, so if you feel like doing an astrological birth chart as well, I do do those. Send me along with uh, your request, uh, your birth time. Uh, your birth city, place, uh, time, day, year. And I take a snapshot of the sky, what's going on in space at the time that you were born. And I tell you what you're strong at, what your weaknesses are, work, love, career, taking trips, moving, anything you like I can look at. Or if uh, there seems to be a part of your chart that's not activated, like the, you know, everybody says, how do I activate the relationship? I don't know, I'll teach you how to do that. Because um, maybe there's something you're missing, right? Maybe there's something with the work that's not completed yet for your life. Although the Taurus does like to work, so that couldn't be it, could it? <laughs> well, let's see here. I think Taurus, you work and you like to watch that grow. All right, Taurus. Well, for the last couple of reads, we've been pulling a lot of uh, distant energy. We've been pulling a lot of having a good time, connecting to friends, uh, possibly you moving. If you're moving, Taurus, I'd say that this is a good time for you to move, especially October before we get into November. I think is a very uh, opportunistic time for you to move. And I'm picking that up intuitively. Let's start your tarot read. And your energy, you have the Eight of Swords. So something's kind of keeping you trapped inside your mind here. Hmm. And the Seven of Swords. As your challenge, you have the Two of Wands supporting your read. There is a choice, and there is some travel there, isn't there? And the Two of Pentacles in your past. You've been juggling that idea for a minute, right? Ten of Pentacles is your strength. You know the overall big picture for this love story in your life and the Nine of Pentacles in the future. You're looking good on your own here. Um, that's good. There might be a Taurus here that's just trying to separate from everything. And like, I don't know. Not in a bad way. I feel like it's, it's a spiritual thing, right? A lot of times these reads... They don't touch on the spiritual aspect of completing something spiritually. And you know how I was saying about the birth chart? Maybe it's something spiritually you haven't completed yet for that relationship to kind of trickle in, right? You have a lot of pentacles, and there at the end of your read is a chariot. There is definitely vibes for the Tauran collective here about moving or making decisions fast that's going to change the aspects and bring, you know, the chariot is a spiritual card. It's the light and the shadow energy. And this card is depicted by the shadows, that dark uh, road, rainy road, and the headlights of the car. Very bright headlights. And I think it's combining the light and the shadow energy to move forward. And there is a dove at the end of that. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. That's at the end of the read. That's way in the future. Let's stick with what we got here. Um, I just got ahead of myself when I saw the chariot card. Recently, the chariot cards kind of become my little, uh, my little, uh, what do you call that, underground favorite card? Not really my favorite card, but it's become one of my um, 
I guess whatever. It's become one of my favorites on the on the side here, but not my real favorite. Eight of Swords. You're trapped in your head about a situation. It this is in the head. And the cool thing about the Eight of Swords is you're not really trapped. You have the freedom to move about the cabin here. And you have challenging that is the Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, stealing? No, not so much. I think this is more because these cards do connect the Seven and the Eight of Swords. You know, and you guys saw me shuffle this deck for a while. But the Seven and the Eight of Swords connect here, so I think you're only stuck in your head. It could have been some of the Tauruses have been lied and cheated on. And that's why. That's the only weird energy coming from the headspace is in the center of the reed. The rest of the reed is just coins and you moving forward to a better you and having a really nice, uh, passionate, actually, very cool feature. We'll get to that. I keep wanting to come to this side because I like this side, Taurus, but I always smile when I do the Taurus reed. I love that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. The Taurus reed is good. The Taurus... Your reads are always good, I feel. Um, for the other signs, I don't always smile and laugh when I see their reads. I don't always do that for their signs. But your read looking good here. And I know maybe because... Well, what I want to say with that Seven of Swords is you're gathering resources to move somewhere there. You're gathering resources to move forward with your life. That Seven of Swords is kind of an Aquarian... Uh, giving and taking type thing I feel it's it's about elevating yourself it's kind of like I always imagine the seven of swords like a staircase of swords you know and it may have been painful climbing that staircase but it's you gathering the resources you need here because you have the two of wands there was a decision here supporting this read and I feel like the decision was made here already because the past is a two of pentacles and it's kind of mirroring what's going on here Okay, it's kind of like, uh, I'm getting, the, this is almost the same card. Although, you know, this one's is coins. So whatever you've decided here to balance out your life is now starting to take hold. Because your strength here is that Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is you having that ultimate vision for a love life. And, you know, there's a family there. And that beautiful sunflower, you know, as soon as I said a family there, there was a lot of cars honking outside. <laughs> um, but that Ten of Pentacles is really cool in your strength because it's showing me here at the read that you have the ultimate ideal of what the relationship needs to look like. How your person needs to show up. Well, that's on them, isn't it? Because mm, here... In the future, you have this Nine of Pentacles where you're actually looking good on your own. You're looking so good on your own that um, perhaps it's that you don't even need anybody here because she has a little bird on her shoulder and she is able to call that bird to her shoulder anytime she needs it. I also look at this bird like spirit. Because sometimes when we do spiritual things and we connect that spiritual side of us, it's it's a deep moment and sometimes it requires being alone. You know, maybe you've been insecure in the past and you've invited the energy of friends and going out a lot and that can kind of drain you, right? And maybe you just need a little bit of time out here before you step into this action I see on this side. So if you're at this read, I'd say that, yeah, you do need a little time out for that spiritual moment here. Because you have the death card as your suggested approach. And the things that you need to know about is the Ace of Wands. There is a new beginning for you. But I feel like the new beginning, some of the Taurans, Taurus crowd, you might be coming here about something being healed or something being fixed. I don't so much see that. Um, as much as something ending and something starting, okay? So it's kind of like Eclipse vibes, okay? So the Torin here, that is here, for this read, what they need to know is that the thing that's not working, the thing that doesn't look like the Ten of Pentacles, the thing that doesn't promise you anything at the end, because Taurus, you're a hard worker and you like to reap and see the abundance come in. But how are you going to start 
that abundance if you don't have a seed to plant, right? Well, it's telling you, you know, death, right? Let death fertilize the soil with the past and let the new stuff grow. Somebody that is able to plant a seed with you and then this Ace of Wands grows, right? This Ace of Wands, something passionate grows and in your future here, like, well, in your hopes and fears, sorry, you have this three of coins saying, hey, look, um, you know, I want to build something with somebody, but I don't know if I'll find it. And, you know, I, I'd say if you follow what's telling you here, gather your resources and end what's not working and start with something that's working, that's actually going to give you those seeds to plant. You know, I think you're going to be in a very good space where you're not afraid of that anymore. Uh, if the Taurus is afraid of not finding that special person ever, I mean, you don't have to be afraid of that. I think right now is the time this month for you is time to connect to the spiritual stuff, the good stuff, and that might require you being alone or making a move or making a decision. And I do see you doing that with this beautiful chariot card. And once again, we have the symbolism of the bird on top of the hood of the card. It's the light and the shadow energy. And you can only get that light and shadow energy when you go deep down in that spirituality. When you go deep down there and you go in here and you find what's there, that chariot lets you move forward and spirit's there with you. There are no characters in this read except death. There is no one particular character here. No one showing up in the read here. Only you. Because it's about doing the work this month spiritually for yourself, Taurus. It's about really looking within inside of you, taking that time out alone and calling spirit to your shoulder and saying, hey, you know, how do I make this Ten of Pentacles happen? How do I grow everything that I'm trying to manifest your dream? You know, and lately I've hated the word manifest because some people can manifest, some people can't. Isn't that just the truth, right? And I think maybe it's a load of BS sometimes. You might got, you guys might look at other tarot card regions and they're like, yeah, you're manifesting. No. Taurus, I'm telling you this month it's time to do the work. Let's pull an animal oracle for you. Let's see what we get here. Very cool read though. I like this side a lot. I like this whole read a lot. Just the beginning kind of gets to a rough start. And that's exactly why you're here at the read, isn't it? And so listening to the read, you're able to turn off YouTube and go off into the world and find that spirituality here. Let's see what the animal oracle says to you. Hummingbird spirit. Now, isn't that lovely? He says, be here now. Yeah, that is part of spirituality, right? Being here now. Um, I'm just picking up intuitively. There is a Taurus watching this that's suffering from a little anxiety. No, not a little, a lot. A lot of depression, possibly, as well. Um, if you are here and you've made it to the end of this read with this Adam Oracle, I'm going to tell you that uh, pray to... Pray to your God or spirituality or whatever, that's going to go away. Um, actually, if there's a park or, you know, I live in Japan, there's a lot of parks and shrines connected. If you have anything like that, wherever you're at in the world, walk around there and uh, spirit's going to bleed the pain out of you. It's going to hurt walking outside. But I, I just felt like the need to say that. Um, and I hope, I hope the best for you. But there is a Taurus here that's going through that. So I'm sorry, that was kind of a different message, but for what's going on here, be here now, that's part of spirituality. So I think the Taurus is connecting to spirituality this month. And you know, the hummingbird, if it stops flapping, right? It, it doesn't stop flapping, so it uses a lot of calories and it uses up a lot of energy. And that was kind of going back to like me saying, hey, You've been kind of like in this mode where you're always around your friends, always talking, always inviting people into your space. So you're burning up a lot of energy. 
and I think it's time for you to kind of take a little time out by yourself and kind of like that advice that I gave to the one Taurus that's watching this read that needs to hear that message that Spirit's going to heal you. Um, for those Taurus that are not going through that situation, you're kind of going through that because you do need to take time out. Maybe you do need to take a walk at the park or something and, you know, connect to that spiritual side. You know, get away from the TV, get away from YouTube, get away from tarot, get away from everything. You know, I even have my moments where I'm just like constantly thinking about planets, constantly thinking about astrology, uh, constantly thinking about Rahu and Vedic astrology. And I'm just like, you just drop it. Just drop it. Let me be here now. I don't want to be in space. I don't want to be uh, what's going to happen next week. Let me just be here now. And that is spirituality, just being in the now. There's actually a book about be here now. You guys can Google it. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not keen on reading like psychological books, but if any of you guys need that, I know it's there. It's, it's about being here now. Very cool card. Very cool read, Taurus. Um, once again, if you guys need a personal read, reach out to me. If you guys um, enjoy this read too, go ahead, like, subscribe, and I'll guys, <laughs> I'll catch you guys again later. Bye, Taurus.